Hello everyone, uh, this is my second video about the Cork DSN12 synthesizer and in this uh, video I'd like to talk about the actual meat of this application and it is sound synthesis. So let's take a look at the actual synthesizer. Let's start a new song and to get to the synthesizer window uh, we can either just tap on one of the patterns and then hit synth or we could also just uh, click on one of these track buttons to go to go to the synthesizer of the respective pattern so here's synthesizer one and uh, we have an array of knobs which all regulate uh, the quality of our tone generated by this synthesizer before we look at the different knobs of our synthesizer, let's remind ourselves of the three main components of a sound wave. That is amplitude, frequency and waveform. With the amplitude we can regulate the volume of our waveform. So if we increase it, it will get louder. With the frequency of our waveform, we can regulate the pitch of, of our sound. So if we increase the frequency, the higher the sound will sound. And finally, we can manipulate the waveform, the basic waveform of our sound wave, and that will change the quality of the tone. And with sound synthesis, we basically manipulate these three elements uh, to generate interesting tones. So here we have our main synthesizer window with all of the knobs. And these knobs are grouped into five groups. We have the voltage controlled amplitude, which basically controls the volume. We have the voltage controlled oscillators, which control the quality of our waveform. We have the pitch knobs, which regulate the frequency. We have the voltage controlled filter, uh, which further lets us manipulate the frequency of our sound or the quality of our sound. And finally, we have the envelope generator which gives us further control of the amplitude of our sound. And as I think that this is rather complex for a beginner, I decided to split this up into two videos, so I won't talk about the envelope generator and every knob related to the envelope generator in this video. The knobs for the amplitude I think are rather clear. Uh, we can adjust the volume of it, the bass volume, with this lever. And we also have uh, the ability uh, to add a little bit of distortion to our sound. So uh, if we pre-hear it, the drive knob will uh, alter the quality of our uh, sound wave by distorting it. This lever is uh, related to the envelope generator, so I will talk about this in the next video. These are the knobs uh, for the oscillator, and we have two oscillators per uh, synthesizer, and each oscillator can take one of four waveforms. By default, the first oscillator is set to a sawtooth wave. As you can see, it plays a basic sawtooth wave. And we also have a triangle wave, which sounds softer than the sawtooth wave. We also have a square wave, which sounds 
thicker than a sawtooth wave and we also have a noise wave. And as I said, uh, we have two oscillators uh, and we can actually combine these two uh, uh, oscillators. So if we set a, the first one to a sawtooth wave and also the second one to a sawtooth wave and we want to play them simultaneously, we have to adjust the balance knob. And if we set it straight up, it will have a 50-50 mix of both uh, oscillators. And if we play it, you will hear and see some phasing, some movement between these uh, waveforms. And that's because uh, by default the second uh, oscillator is slightly increased in pitch compared to the first uh, oscillator. And we can adjust the pitch uh, with this knob and if we set it straight up, uh, we no longer have a phasing uh, in our sound wave. We can also regulate this uh, by activating the sync lever. And now um, the two waveforms, the two oscillators will be synced no matter what the frequency of the second oscillator. So if I increase it, it will alter the waveform. And by changing the, the waveforms and the pitch, we can uh, generate uh, a rather vast amount of uh, different and interesting waveforms from these uh, four basic waveforms. Uh, there's something special about the uh, square waveform of the uh, of the first oscillator. Uh, we can further regulate its quality with uh, this uh, knob and it will basically alter the breadth of our square. So by default we have a even evenly shaped square and by increasing it our square will get smaller and thus our sound will sound different. A further difference is uh, with the noise waveform. Uh, they're, there's, they're actually different uh, uh, between the oscillators. So our first uh, oscillator will generate noise that sounds like this. And our second oscillator will generate noise that sounds like this. And we can alter the quality of the noise of our second uh, oscillator by changing the pitch. So that's it for the uh, oscillator knobs. Uh, let's talk about the pitch knobs. Uh, these are rather straight, straightforward. Um, here we have the octave knot, uh, knob, which will change the uh, bass frequency of our uh, of our oscillator. So if we set it back to a square, uh, to a sawtooth, by adjusting the octave knot, it will play sounds uh, that are higher or lower by one octave. Then we also have a portamento uh, knob and this basically regulates uh, what the synthesizer will do when we change between notes. To demonstrate this, let's look at the keyboard. And right now, if we play different notes, uh, the frequency will shift immediately. But if we adjust the portamento, raise it a little, there will now be a slight delay uh, in the changes between the frequencies.
Then let's finally look at the filter. And we actually have uh, three options, three different filters. We have a low pass filter, a high pass filter, and a band pass filter. And low pass filter basically means that it will cut off every frequency or all the frequencies that are above a certain cutoff frequency. So if we adjust the cutoff frequency and we have a low pass filter, it will only let pass every all the frequencies that are below the cutoff frequency and it will cut off every frequency that is above the cutoff frequency. And if we look at it, we can see and hear that our sound now so sounds uh, different. And that's because uh, the filter cuts off certain frequencies. We also have the possibility to add uh, some accent to our uh, filter uh, by adjusting the peak we actually uh, amplify uh, the, the, the frequencies at the cutoff frequency. So if we adjust it here, we can see that it will uh, accentuate uh, these frequencies at the cutoff frequency. Uh, then we also have a high pass filter and that means that it will only let pass all the frequencies that are above the cutoff frequency and will cut off all the frequencies that are below the cutoff frequency. So right now we should hear a sound that is uh, that is uh, that consists basically of uh, higher frequencies. And if we regulate the cutoff frequency, it will gradually let pass uh, all the lower frequencies till we finally have our full waveform. Uh, finally, we have a band pass filter uh, which lets pass only the uh, frequencies around the cutoff frequency. And uh, right now it uh, will only uh, let through all the, f uh, the lower frequencies. And it will cut off all the frequencies that are to, the, to a certain degree to the right or to the left of, uh, to, the, to the right and to the left of our cutoff frequency. So that's it for this video. I think it's already quite long. Uh, if you found this helpful, maybe click the like button, uh, leave a comment and uh, see you uh, with the next video.